Welcome back to another Secrets of the Pros here on behalf of, uh, uh, you know, Pristine here, Pristine Production. I'm your mixing engineer here, and uh, we're going to be talking about a serious topic here, man. Many engineers out there around the world are feeling like, you know what, man? I need to be going in a big studio. I need to get somebody to have some UAD, Apollo rig, some SSL desk, man. I need some Pug Tech. I need to buy all these hardware. I need to get like 100000 or 300000 to spend on equipment to get my music on the industry level. Well, I'm here to tell you the real secret, the pro industry mix. What the producers are not telling you, man, and uh, what digital can do for your mix. Now, let me say this, like analog gear, nothing is wrong with it. They are using these things to get that big uh, fat sound. You know, they are running their drum buses on, on the gears, running it back to the desk, running it in Pro Tools, you know, a Studio One, whatever. But let me tell you something. You can get the same big depth, just like what they do with the gear with plugins i'm going to show you the secret the real secret guys this is the tutorial that you're going to learn what's the real secret behind uh getting that big sound even up to the volume you know so let me let me talk about you know how the, these guys roll right so check this out right? i'm going to compare real quick uh this is a kind of rough mix but i got it up to a close to level here and i'm going to show you i'm going to compare that real quick with with, with, with britney spears here's the uh, track here If you can hear the difference, man, our mix is popping just like the pros. A little small tweak can be done, but if you listen to it, I got the stereo, I got the bass. You might say, man, Ray, man, you sure didn't use no outboard gear. The only outboard gear I used was a preamp and a condenser microphone. Yeah, so let's get down to it. So now, um... When it comes to that sound, guys, I'm going to make you take a look here on my, at my mixer screen. You might see 100 plugins. You might say, really, really good. You so much plugins. Not really 100 plugins, but maybe about close to maybe 15 plugins here. The first secret you need to know, guys, when you're building your rhythm or when you're recording your vocals, you need to make sure you have a good professional microphone. It doesn't have to be a $10,000 one, a nice condenser microphone, Record your, 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 your vocal at optimum level, mean not too hot. And um, make sure you record in a nice uh, treated room or a booth or foam or, you know, to get a nice dead sound so you don't have no reflections on the wall. That's the first thing. You might have heard that, oh, I've heard that so many times, Ray. That's the first thing. Just make sure you get good quality recording. Now we'll jump right down to the mix here. Now, if you listen to this track here, you hear everything big and fat, everything is wide, you know. So the first thing what these guys do, and I'm going to show you, you know, uh, you get a mix. Obviously, what you want to do is uh, pick the best instrument, the best sounding. Uh, like I'm using a, um, a nice organ from Contact. You know, I'm using a, a bass um, also from the Contact library. Get stuff that are sounding great. Don't get a cheap sound. You know, like the older uh, workstation bass, that kind of little sound, electronic. You get something that's, that's popping. And even if you use a cheap sound, there is a way to make it beefy and fat. It's going to still sound a little bit plastic, but it's going to sound rich and fat like what you want. Uh, like what they're doing with the industry, right, on the level. Red carpet, right? So, so for example here, so when you do that... You have a raw, um, rough um, composition. You know you have a great sounding um, brass. Like, for example, take, take a listen to these brass here. I'm going to let you hear it dry. This is from Contact. You want to make sure you're using the best sound and quality workstation um, virtual uh, um, uh, instruments as possible I have a guitar here as well you see all this stuff sung authentic so that's rule one guys use great virtual instrument 
even if you have to buy a contact complete and get great virtual instrument there are a lot of good uh free ones and uh, probably cheap ones you can fi find that have a, a, a good authentic sound you'll know if you can listen very well and, and you know and, and, and you know you can get them as well uh the accordion itself i'm using from contact because i want good rich sound and this is one of the secrets here you know as opposed to being in a big studio and then you have all these guys bringing in some big expensive guitar you can get the software it's dead on close you know so make sure you do that even when it comes to samples right like i have a sample here let's hit it get high quality samples as well i have a tom sample here you know it's a little bit vintage but you know it, it has that nice tone to it and all it is did a little bit of eq on it you know make sure you get that that's that's rule one now the second the second secret now behind how these guys are getting you need to make sure because all these guys whether they're tracking from a hardware instruments are going back into the desk they have a routing pattern right so you know you want to make sure okay say if i have my kick drum i have my kick drum loaded up here I'll make sure I'm parallel, parallel compressing these kicks here 99% of the time. You know, so I can get a punchy sound. But remember what I told you, the first secret, make sure it's great quality samples, right? Because if I take off the EQ uh, from, from this thing, it still sounds great, still have a knock. I'll be able to add a little bit more punch to it with the EQ. And through the uh, parallel compression chain here, we went ahead and added, you know, um, you know, some more um, boost a little more 50. You know, I'm, I'm teaching you the process, what they do. You have to use your ears to make EQ judgments, right? I make sure I have that beefy and fat, you know, um, uh, you know, that, 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 that's a secret. Do great EQ. And here is, um, yeah, so we covered um, first one, get your instruments, high quality virtual instruments. Second one. Um, Make sure you do your routing good. I have, you know, parallel compression and such, you know, drum bus, whatever. You know, I'm using um, on, on these kick drums. Let's see, on the drum sub here, if I can go to my drum bus. I'm running uh, the T-Rex Clipper here. I'm getting a letting the drum hit real hard and getting more volume without distortion. And I'm even EQing a little bit more and bringing it up to standard, right? You know, uh, even for the reverb, I'm using the T-Rex a studio reverb i'm getting rich authentic sound you know uh stuff um from the ssl you, you know even um let's go down to uh i'm using the h delay from wave you get, you got to use great stuff i'm not saying buy a thousand a thousand dollars worth of plugins but get stuff that will work sound toys i'm using the sound toys on the doubles you know on these stuff and uh Another secret is make sure you use majority of the time, 90, 99% of the time, make sure you use analog plugs. You might say, Ray, what's wrong with digital EQ? Um, nothing is wrong with it. It's just digital. It's just clean. Make sure you're using stuff like the CLA 76 to get more punchy, trans, uh, transient. You know, make sure you use stuff like the slate, you know, to bring that vocal right through, cutting it right through. If I turn it off, these things really work, guys. I'm using the, the virtual channel here. Use Make sure you use harmonic saturation to warm up that signal, getting a little bit more beefy without boosting any EQ. You know, so when you get to the EQ, it'll be easier. You know, I'm using the FG um, EQs here. I'm using another compressor here, the FG116, to pop that vocal right through. You know, I'm doing parallel compression as well. You know, always get a little bit of taste on analog on, 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 on the guitar, you know, on the instrument. On the guitar here, I'm using SSL. You know, I'm boosting. You know, I'm using a CLA, getting some uh, massive low end on the bass uh, while uh, as well getting some com compression here. And make sure you're gain staging properly. You, uh, you know, you got to mix fat, right, to get the big fat sound. And you don't stop. Don't limit yourself. Keep on adding what you need. I'm, I'm using NLS, you know, um, on the percussion here just to get a little bit more grit and a little bit more harmonic tone and, and popping it out in the mix. Because it will be very difficult to do that 
without um, with just digital plugins, right? You know, um, right on the acoustic guitar here, I'm using a, a SSL channel strip here, right? This sound alone. You know, I'm boosting some highs here. I'm using the, 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 the need here. Here I am. I'm using analog here again. I'm boosting a 220, give it a little bit more guts, a little bit as, as 7K. If I turn these plugins off, the guitar song cheap. So these are the secret guys. These are the secret. Use distortion. Use tape machines. And as a matter of fact, when it comes to tape machines here, you know, I'm I'll, I'll, although I'm mixing fat, I'm adding my analog, I'm boosting low end, I'm parallel compressing, I'm doing the whole drum busting because I feel like the the mix the, the mix needs it. You know, on top of that, on the main bus here, I'm printing to tape. Let's bypass the slate digital here. Off. On. Off. On. And these things really work. It's giving the whole mix a big swell. You can even try and use something like uh, the CDC console shaper. You know, use these things to warm up your signal chain on the mix bus every time. That's how. I got my mix to sound as gigantic as Britney Spears and these other artists. So don't let no ghost fool the man and tell the man your stuff is never going to sound fat if you don't have a big uh, analog SSL. Man, that's a lie, man. I'm not saying gears and hardware don't work. They're wonderful. That's why they model the plugins off these things. But you can survive without hardware. You know, the only hardware you need is the one that, you know, to track great vocals and stuff. But it, it comes right down to the mixing because guess what? When these guys use hardware, they, they pump it right back into the box. And they use, uh, you know, little EQs and stuff just a little bit because they're getting great sound from the beginning. So to top it all off, guys, the real secret to get industry standard quality mix is to make sure you use the best virtual instrument that has great tones, dynamics, and all that. The second one, make sure you're routing, use your power compression and all these stuff, all these techniques that you that you know. You know, use this, go on YouTube, check it out, and uh, get your mix sounding fat. And uh, the second secret, I mean, I mean the third secret, use analog plugs. They really add color uh, to you and use authentic analog plugs because not all analog digital version of the analog stuff sound great. Stuff like the slate is wonderful. Waves of stuff is wonderful, you know. Sound toys, you know, ozone, you know, um, all these plug in brands, these are the secret to get that big industry standard sound. So that nobody tell you can't get the quality sound like the pros, you know. Hardware it changes over time, you know, it ages and the tubes and stuff burn out, so that the sound changes on the mix. But with digital, man, you have a nice color every time, so. That's what I wanted to share with you guys, the real secret, you know, pro industry mix. And I want to invite you all as well to uh, look me up on YouTube if you want to buy rhythms, you know, as you can take part in my subscribe mix and master contest. When whenever you hit 100 subscribers, I'm going to name uh, the first and second place winner. You know what I'm saying? You know, um, send your best mix with vocal uh, to my email. Just click on this. Um, this video here, you're gonna see my email there, man. So that's what I'm. That's what I wanted to share with you guys. That's how I got my stuff stuff popping every time because I know what these guys are doing in the analog world, big studio world. You can bring that thing to digital. So hit me up if you want me to make some master for you. If you want to buy some beats, and uh, we'll touch you in the next one. Check out the latest video. Learn the basics of Studio One Four. Ask me any questions or what tutorial you would like to see next. So I'll catch you guys on the 